Good afternoon and welcome back to Forgotten in Gentrification, unless you're watching on YouTube. In that case, uh, welcome back to Aussies on the Move. I do want to kind of explain uh, the difference in the two channels just a bit, um, depending on whether you're watching on Instagram or on YouTube. Um, my husband, Mike, pretty much runs the YouTube channel. Occasionally, I'll post up a video like this that's um, meant to be informative or just something cool that I caught. Um, but Aussies on the Move is really more of the creative videos, um, the fun stuff that we're doing, the beauty of the island, things like that. Whereas Forgotten in Gentrification also has the fun things and more of the stuff that I capture, but I also uh, really aim to focus on the difficult parts of what we go through and the fact that we are a poor family that is going on this adventure and is traveling to Puerto Rico and I want to highlight the, um, the hard things that we go through as well to be very honest and forthright and as well as informative so that you guys um, don't run into or encounter the same problems or mistakes that we have. I do want to specify and make it super clear because I've talked about money in past videos that we did come with enough money to be here. We absolutely did. We had enough money to get a car. We had enough money to get a place. We had a plan set up so that Mike was going to have a tool sent from the mainland that he um, entrusted somebody with. Everything that could have gone wrong for us did. The friend that was supposed to send his tools and my contacts and some other really important things completely flaked on us. They sent us absolutely nothing, so they stole those things, um, ultimately. And then uh, we ended up in a situation where our birth certificates disappeared at our first Airbnb. So we were unable to get any kind of uh, government help right away, which we really needed because we were working on an extremely limited budget. We did not have uh, enough source of income at that point because we thought we were going to be able to get that started a lot quicker. So the food assistance would have been great a lot sooner because food is extremely expensive here as I have uh, recognized before. Um, acquiring things and you guys went through the whole thing with us of trying to find a car and trying to find a place and how difficult that was. It was difficult, not because we didn't have the money, but because those things are hard to acquire, especially if you're white and especially if you don't speak Spanish. Um, that's something to really keep in mind, and especially if you're working with a limited budget. So we did have a very difficult time with that. As soon as some people would figure out that I didn't speak Spanish, they wouldn't even deal with me anymore. Uh, there is something called gringo tax here where, uh, it, I mean, it is basically assumed, let, let's be honest, poor people typically do not get up and pack up their lives and move to tropical islands, you know, partway across the world. So it is assumed that if you're here and you're white, and especially if you're an expat, that you have money. Uh, so there is something here called gringo tax, and that is where you are charged more because you are white. Your rent could be higher, how much you pay for a car, what you pay at the gas station for some snacks. I have caught people that will give me a price that I owe and then I go to run my card and it's three dollars higher because they're gonna pocket that money so you got to be aware of things like that and I'm not shaming or slamming anybody um, you know I understand very well the difficulties for Puerto Ricans of having expats come and having white people come in and rise the housing markets and so forth I've already talked about that that's not what this video is about though um, what we went through was nothing less than traumatic. Um, it was horrible. There was physical violence that happened um, to me. I mean, we weren't the ones, you know, uh, causing these problems. Thunderstorm. Um, we weren't the ones causing those problems. Um, I was uh, physically manhandled down a flight of stairs. That video I did where the water disappeared, guess who took that water? Not once, but twice. Sabotaged that system and made that water disappear specifically so that we, with three kids in tow, could not use it. Um, also sabotaged the power for a month um, while we were desperately trying to get out of there to find literally any place we could. We almost moved into an abandoned house just to get out of there and our neighbors were like, no, you have rights, don't do this. Um, you know, stay there until you can find something better. We were in and out of court several times. We did win. Um, I was granted an order of protection at one point. I mean, it was just, it was really, really horrible and absolutely not a good representation of Puerto Rico or its people. What was though, was the sense of community that came, that happened and that came together while we were going through this, our entire neighborhood, literally almost everyone on that block at some point 
we met them and they helped us with food. They helped us with water. They helped us with rides. They helped people here, helped us with showers, with getting laundry done. I mean, it was, it was extremely humbling, um, in a way that I've never experienced before having to thank so many people, having to feel so small and having nothing to work with, having no options, having three children to think of. Um, and, and just, every single day being like, what the hell did we do? What the hell did we do? Um, but things did get better. We did have that help. Even City Hall stepped in. Um, they helped us get appliances when we got our new place. They came and brought us food and COVID um, supplies. And just, I mean, really the sense of community here, I, I can't speak for the higher ups for rich people or the, or the upper class. But, and I don't want to call them poor people, but pe the, your general person here, just your average regular person, I mean, warm, inviting, generous, welcoming, good hearted. I just, I mean, I, I cannot say enough good things. I cannot praise um, Puerto Rico or her people enough. And I mean, they saved us without our neighbors, without our friends that we made here, without the people that stepped in, we absolutely would not have made it. So I will, I will never be able to repay some of them for, for how much they helped us. So we did get our own apartment. We are living in low income housing now, which I was very worried about, but I mean, anything was going to be better than where we were. So we were grateful regardless. Um, but we were, you know, people, our friends were concerned about us and they were trying to be helpful, you know, and they told us, you know, don't really talk to people, don't make friends, just keep to yourself, keep your head down until you can get out of there. But I'll be straight with you. That has not been our experience here. Everyone has been very sweet, warm, inviting. There's families here. Um, there's like entire families here. Like one person will live there and her sister will live there and her aunt is there and they are totally happy with being here and they've all got each other and they set their houses up real nice. You're given a lot of leeway as to what you can do with your apartments here. And it, it really has been um, quite a nice experience. There's activities that they run constantly in the community center here. There's horses that walk around the, the property. It's just, it, it's been a very nice experience. The kids' school is very, very close. Um, they like their school. So I definitely have days where I'm like, I just wanna go home. What are we doing? This has been awful, you know, forgetting the, the good parts of what's happened here. Um, and then there's other days where I'm like, I love the island and I never want to leave and I can really appreciate, you know, all of the good. Um, so I, I've put off doing this video for months, for months and months because it's, it's humbling, it's humiliating, it's difficult to talk about, um, everything that happened. Uh, I'm not somebody that's had an easy life by any means, um, but this was this was definitely up there on the the traumatic experiences um karma does come around uh i have not heard of anything good happening to these people that went out of their way to hurt us um it seems like they're um reaping what they sowed so um i hate to be happy to hear that but you know karma's a bitch um you treat people the way you want to be treated you know we didn't we did not deserve what happened to us at all or the things that were said about us and uh, it, it meant the world to me that everyone around us in our neighborhood and our friends were able to recognize that and knew that we were just here trying to do our best and we, were, we did not come to harm anyone. We have no bad intentions. Um, I feel like we're good people. We try to help others. Um, and so it, it meant the world to us that other people saw that and, and went out of their way so extremely um in order to help us they called in resources they had church people from churches come people from foundations come we've made friends that i hope and can see having the rest of my life um so on the one hand it was really awful and um it, it's hard to talk about and it will haunt me forever and on the other hand so much good came from it so much good and i can't sing the praises of puerto rico and her people enough i just really can't um, so anyway, thank you for joining us. Um, regardless of which channel you're watching, I hope you stick with us. And now that I've finally um, gotten the balls to kind of get this video out of the way, I will be able to make new ones and talk about things like the differences between Puerto Rico and the States and other mistakes to avoid and, and things that I really want to tell you guys that I haven't been able to because I really needed to get this out of the way. So 
Again, thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for watching. And I hope you're all doing well out there. And if you do have any questions that I can answer, please always feel free to hit me up. Occasionally, I'll get a message from someone that, that needs further information. And, and we are more than happy to provide that if we can. So uh, best wishes to you all. Buenas tardes. And I hope that uh, we will talk to you again soon.